Hey, what's up, guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everyone back. Um, today I'm going to be doing, or tonight rather, I'm going to be doing a collection update. Now, I wanted to do this over the weekend, but I was waiting for one thing to show up because I did uh, order something through the mail and it showed up today. So I figured, you know what, just wait a few days to do it and um, that way I can include it in this collection update. And I got mostly CDs here, but I did actually find a few VHS tapes, um, you know, when I was out. So most of this stuff, with the exception of one CD that came in the mail, um, me and a friend of mine went out Saturday night. We went out, uh, hung out here in Colorado Springs a little bit, and then we went up to another city, kind of a city, a uh, big town. In a small city called Pueblo, which is about a half an hour from here. I uh, went to Cracker Barrel for dinner, and then we hit up, we were in the area, and we hit up this uh, CD place that I looked up. And of course, they also had movies as well. And um, got there a little bit late. You know, they were about to close, so I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time in there. But I did get um, a good amount of CDs, except, again, one and two VHS tapes. So... You know, again, the, the one CD came in the mail today, wanted to hold off, so now let's get into it. So the first thing I want to, first couple of things I want to show is the VHS tapes. And I, I walked in and I, I looked, I went through the kids section first, because that's right when you walked in. And pretty cool store, you know, small independent store, um, but they had, you know, new CDs, which a lot of those, in my opinion, were overpriced. Like, I got a couple new ones. Um, only because they're one of my favorite bands and their CDs are kind of hard to find. But I did pick up, you know, a few of their releases. And, uh, you know, you'll see the, the sticker on there. So a lot of their newer stuff was kind of overpriced, especially the the music DVDs that were new. Um, you know, I felt they were overpriced. But uh, the used stuff I thought was decently priced. And I did find a bunch of good stuff used. But um, you know, the first thing I saw again were VHS, and I was pretty happy about it. I was like, "Oh wow, you know, VHS, that's pretty cool." Um, so I got one movie and one music VHS. The movie that I got, and this is actually brand new, only paid ninety nine cents for it, and it is Tough and Deadly with Rowdy Rowdy Piper and Billy Blanks. This is the second movie they did together. The previous one is called Back in Action, which I do have that on VHS and Laserdisc because it's never been released on DVD in America. Same with this film. And um, I'd only seen this movie, I think, once, maybe twice. I'm not sure. Um, I do have a DVD-R of it that I made. And again, I think I've seen it once or twice, and I don't really remember anything about this movie. Uh, back in action, I've seen that about three times. And I remember a little bit more about that movie, but not much about, about either movie. Uh, movie. I'd have to go back and uh, check these out. But now I have both of them on VHS. And again, 99 cents. Still brand new. Factory sealed from Walmart, actually. So there you go. Back in the day. Um, pretty cool. You know, so again, uh, was able to find some VHS out there, which is always cool. And I'm going to take this back home with me. And uh, maybe over Christmas break, I'll do a, a double feature. Maybe I'll I'll sit down and check these movies out again. It's been a little while since I've seen them. And again, I don't really remember much of these movies. But I remember liking them. And I thought Roddy Piper and Billy Blanks made a good team. And Roddy Piper actually inspired Billy Blanks to do the Ty Bo thing. Because at the time, Billy Blanks wasn't sure about it. You know, wasn't sure if it was going to kick off the way that it did. But, uh, you know, Piper told him, like, hey, man, a dream follow it you know do it and it all worked out luckily so there you go and the music vhs that i got is a bon jovi tape and this one is keep the faith and evening with bon jovi which this is kind of like their version of mtv unplugged um they do both unplugged versions and electric versions of their songs um i do have a dub of this if you watched my uh my mail call videos that I did when I was home. Uh, this was dubbed onto a tape of a uh, collection of tapes of Bon Jovi stuff that I bought. And this was on one of them. But again, 99 cents to uh, to get the actual VHS. And this has never been released on DVD either. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
But, um, yeah, this was uh, shot over the course of two nights in New York. They did, again, kind of like their own version of Unplugged, but they also did electric versions of some of the songs. But, um, yeah, this is a combination of those, and this was shown on MTV back in the day. And then they did a video release, and it's also on Laserdisc, but, again, this has never been released on DVD. I think it's the only Bon Jovi thing that's like concert wise has never been released on dvd i think some of the music video i think all the music videos have been released on dvd i know they've done a couple dvd sets with the music videos but other than that all the concert stuff except this one is out as far as i know on dvd and some of them are actually even on blu-ray now so that's it for the vhs let's uh, get into the cds here first up I got one CD soundtrack. Now, I actually already have this soundtrack, but the version I have at home, the artwork is different on the front. And it's kind of a simple artwork. This one I like better because this is like the actual poster of the movie. Um, but I love this movie. It's actually my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger film, so you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. So I don't mind picking this up. And it is the soundtrack to Last Action Hero. Which, again, I like this, this artwork better because that's the poster of the movie. I would really love to buy one of the posters, you know, maybe hang it up here, um, you know, one of these days or something. But, um, again, the other version I have, the, the front artwork, is, I believe, is different. And the back might be different, too. Uh, but for some reason, they, they did another, another version with different art. Um, it's not a promo copy or anything. It's just for some reason, again, they, they changed the artwork. But... Again, I've always loved this movie. Um, it's always been my favorite Schwarzenegger film. And the soundtrack is really good. Uh, ACDC, Big Gun. You know, I did pick this up on Saturday when Malcolm Young passed away. Um, Alice in Chains, What the Hell Have I, Megadeth, Anger Again, Queensryche, Real World, Def Leppard, Two Steps Behind, uh, Aerosmith, a live version of Dream On. Um, of course, Tesla with Last Action Hero. Uh, a soundtrack I've always enjoyed to a great movie, in my opinion. I know people are kind of split on Last Action Hero, but I've always loved it. And speaking of ACDC, and this is kind of a soundtrack. It is Who Made Who. Um, this was the soundtrack to the Maximum Overdrive movie, but it was also kind of a compilation because there's uh, some older ACDC songs. The The three songs that were in the that were new to the movie was the title track, Who Made Who, which is a great song. And then uh, DT and Chase the Ace, which are two instrumental pieces which are in the film. And then You Shook Me All Night Long, uh, Hell's Bells, For Those About to Rock, Shake Your Foundation, Sink the Pink. And one Bon Scott song, Ride On, is on this soundtrack. Um, I think I've seen Maximum Overdrive. If I have, it's been a long, long time. Um, but I do like the artwork on the inside, which is pretty cool. But, um, you know, it's definitely a movie I want to track down in the collection. I know Stephen King doesn't like the film, but, you know, it's from what I, th I think I've seen it before. I'm not, it's hard, excuse me, it's hard to remember, you know, every single movie one has seen. Damn, keep belching. But, uh, yeah. So I did, again, get this on Saturday, uh, you know, when Malcolm Young passed away. And the thing with ACDC releases is I see their CDs everywhere, um, and usually they're decently priced. Usually they're about 10 bucks a CD, you know, brand new. But the problem is they're the stupid, like, paper cases, like this, uh, like this one, like the Bon Jovi Circle album. It's like this cardboard, whatever. And to be honest, I don't like when they do that. I really don't. I prefer regular plastic cases, in my opinion. Yeah, I know they break easily and shit, but I prefer that. And every ACDC album, when they re-released it in 2003, they released them in that paper cardboard shit, and I don't like it that way. Like the newer ones, um, Rocker Bust and Black Ice, you don't have any choice. That's just the way they came out. But the older ones like this, you know, I prefer to get them in the plastic, regular, standard CD cases, you know? So a lot of times I have to pass on those. It's like, yeah, okay, great, Highway to Hell, Power Rage, you know, all these great albums. Decently priced, but I pass because I don't like those cardboard cases. I really don't, or, you know, 
cardboard or well, I don't even remember what else I said, but they're stupid, you know, in my opinion. <sighs> Enjoying a nice blueberry slushy. Went to the movies, just got back from the movies, saw Justice League. I actually liked Justice League. I was very surprised with myself. I didn't think I was going to like the movie. So later this week, you'll see a review of that. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, was able to find three Alice Cooper CDs. Now, I don't have a lot of Alice Cooper stuff um, back home. I have one vinyl, which is the first CD you're going to see. And then I have his new album, Paranormal. And then I have uh, Billion Dollar Babies, I believe. And then my, uh, Brutal Planet, I think Along Came a Spider. I think that's the name of the album. It's I have two of the three that Eric... Car or Eric Singer played on from Kiss. But um, anyway, first up, I got Constrictor, which I do have this on vinyl back home. Uh, this one, it's kind of a compilation of stuff that really hadn't been released yet. Um, this one has um, Teenage Frankenstein, and he's back, the man behind the mask from Friday the 13th. Um, the Great American Success Story was supposed to be the theme song to Back to School, but for some reason they didn't use it. Um, and then it has some newer songs on here as well. But yeah, so it has three songs that were going to be for a sound, or two songs for a soundtrack, one that was going to be for a soundtrack, and then it has other songs in here. But I did like this album. Again, I got this um, shortly before I left for boot camp, so about two years ago now, this time. Um, I did pick it up on, on uh, vinyl and uh, did enjoy it. You know, always been a big fan of Alice Cooper, have always enjoyed his music, and I want to get more of his stuff. Um, you know, did get to see him live, which was great. I would definitely like to see him again. But, uh, yeah, you know, so this is pretty cool. And actually, Kip Winger plays bass on this um, before he started his own band. Uh, Paul Delf, who did songs for Bloodsport, uh, does keyboards and background vocals on He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So there you go. Constrictor. And yeah, this was like a lot of these CDs were very cheap. And it was buy three, get the fourth free or something. So I did, you know, stock up on the used stuff. You know, it's always a good thing. Next up, we have uh, Hey Stupid, which was the follow-up to Trash. Trash was a, a big hit for Alice Cooper. Um, came out after Constrictor. And this one has uh, the title track, obviously, Loves a Loaded Gun, Snake Bite, and Feed My Frankenstein, which I think was the biggest song off of this album, amongst other songs. You know, but there you go. And then last but not least, uh, you know, this is more like the hair metal type Alice Cooper and even, you know, Constrictor is like that. And then we have the return to like the classic sound, The Last Temptation, which was a pretty, actually a pretty popular album back in the day. I always remember seeing this artwork at places, but on um, this one has Sideshow, Lost in America, uh, You're My Temptation. Uh, some of the other stuff, but this one, you know, got some pretty good reviews back in the day. So there you go. Got a, some Alice Cooper. And then next up, this is the one that came in the mail. Um, it's a CD by a band called Brother Kane, which I talked about them in the last collection update. Now, I went, when I went to Entertain Mart, they had their first CD and their last CD. They didn't have this one. So this one, uh, I searched eBay, found it for five bucks, and um, it arrived today, and it is... Seeds, which is actually my favorite of their albums. And this one has uh, And Fool Shine On, which was a number one hit single. It was also featured in Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, some of the other songs from here were featured in the movie. Um, Horses and Needles is in the movie. Uh, Rise on Water and 2020 Fate. And uh, they're only in the theatrical cut, but they play during the... Um, like the carnival or the festival, whatever bullshit in in the movie. Um, they play during those scenes. And Fool Shine On plays uh, during the credits, the end credits. And then um, when they're driving to school, it plays on the radio. And then one of their other songs plays on the radio the first time. 
So, but there's a lot of really good songs on here from start to finish. This album is solid. Um, but yeah, this was a big hit back in the day. Like I said, "End Fool with Shine On was number one. It was a number one hit single. And some of the other stuff on here was pretty popular as well on rock radio back then. But uh, yeah, this was a really popular album for its time. And uh, it's still a great listen. You know, it's a shame. I, I know I talked about Brother Kane before. And uh, I'm definitely going to do a video about Brother Kane one day soon. Because I think they're a very underrated band, forgotten band in my opinion. And uh, they deserve more recognition. You know, they deserve more in my opinion. Next up, I found this for $4.99. I was very surprised to see it. Um, I used to have a copy of this back in the day when I used to make CDs very frequently um, and really enjoyed listening to this and I'm very happy to find a legitimate copy of it now. Um, and it is Everything is Possible, the very best of Living Color. I've always enjoyed Living Color from Cult of Personality, to other songs that they did, um, you know, they were, they still are, they're still out there touring, they just put a new record out, they are just a kick-ass band, you know, just, uh, uh, um, just a, a inspiration to people, you know, it's just, you know, you got four black guys out there playing rock, kicking ass, you know, writing great songs, and yeah, you know, I don't think they'll, ever really get the credit they deserve you know they put out especially the first album vivid they put out some really great stuff and i'm glad that there's a huge fan base for them but i think critically i think now the critics are starting to really appreciate them but you know they're just such a great band in my opinion and again i don't think they'll ever get the credit they deserve but they kick ass but all the big hits are on here cult of personality uh, open Letter to a Landlord, Glamour Boys, Elvis is Dead, Pride, Time's Up, you know, uh, covers of uh, Burning of the Midnight Lamp, the Jimi Hendrix song, Sunshine of Your Love, which was featured in True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, you know, Flying is a really good song, just, you know, a great compilation of the best, of the it is definitely the very best of this band. Living Color kicks ass. Again, I've I've always... From the first time I heard Cult of Personality, I was hooked. I'm like, oh my god, these guys rock. You know, these guys kick ass. Perfect. You know, love them. Uh, next up, got a uh, Kiss-related CD. Um, Paul Stanley's solo album, Live to Win, which I actually have not heard any of these songs. Um, but it was uh, $4.99, and it was used, like I said, it was buy three, get the fourth free. So, um... You know, wanted to get this in the collection. You know, again, I, I'm a big fan of Kiss and pretty much anything that they do outside of Kiss, whether it's current or former members. And, um, you know, I've always enjoyed Paul Stanley. I, I think he's a fantastic singer, a great songwriter, and a really good rhythm player, in my opinion, you know. But I've always enjoyed his work. So they also had his DVD, but it was like 23 bucks. You know, like I said, a lot of the stuff was overpriced. Good selection. But, you know, I really don't want to spend a fortune. I mean, I did spend a bit of money, but, you know, didn't want to go crazy. Next up, got a Poison CD, uh, Native Tongue. This is one I see copies of everywhere, and this was like $2.99, so I figured why not. And this is when um, C.C. Duvall, the guitar player, left the band. So Richie uh, Coatsen took over. For a little bit and then after this album came out i know there were some differences and then he left and then blues scarino i think that's how you say his name um came in after that and then they kind of broke it off for a little bit and then cc came back and now they're you know they're still playing but um you know this one had a couple couple of minor hits on here the title track stand stay alive until you suffer some fire and ice Body talk. Um, you know, there is some decent stuff on here. So I know that, again, like I said, I see copies of this everywhere. And it was kind of a, a big album back then. But I think ultimately, um, well, people like it. But, you know, I think ultimately, you know, it's kind of like the Forgotten Poison album. Because 
you know, it's not the classic lineup, but there you go. And then I got their cover album called Poisoned. Um, and this is the Walmart version. It doesn't say it, but when I was putting it on my Discogs list, it said Walmart uh, exclusive. I'm like, what's exclusive about it? So I looked at it, and there's one more song, which is uh, Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. So that should be pretty interesting to listen to. Now, this is kind of a mixture because there's um, half of it is songs that are new that they've recorded. The other half is uh, some songs that were already out. So the new ones, uh, Little Willie by Sweet, uh, Little Willie, nearly well, don't know. You know, that one, Suffrage City by David Bowie, great song. I Never Cry by Alice Cooper. I Need to Know by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Can't You See by Marshall Tucker. What I Like About You by The Romantics, Dead Flowers by The Stones, and Just What I Needed by The Cars. So that's all the new ones. And then Rock and Roll All Night, which was in Less Than Zero, uh, Squeeze Box by The Who, You Don't Mess Around With Jen, of course, Your Mama Don't Dance is on here, and We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. Um, that was on the Best of Poison, the 20th anniversary collection or whatever I, the one that i have it's called like 20 years of rock or something that was one of the new songs and i do like their cover of that uh but i've always liked poison you know poison i know most people would say they're most people would probably say they're the best hair metal band out there um they're one of the greats in my opinion but it's hard to say the best but uh you know looking forward to hearing the cover songs on here and speaking of hair metal, of course, I'm wearing a Kicks shirt, so there you go. Next up, um, got this one in the collection because uh, it was the only song by this group that I didn't, or song, <clears throat> only CD I didn't have, well, from the original lineup, now I have all, the, all of them, but it is Slave to the Grind by Skid Row, which I know a lot of people um, consider this their best album. Um, I would say it's their best. It's definitely... Um, a great record it's it's very heavy and dark and it's a lot different from what was going on at the time and it went to number one I think for one week and then it fell off the the number one spot but uh this is the US version because get the fuck out is not on here that only came out on the international versions but um, I'd like to pick up that other release at some point but um Monkey Business, Quicksand Jesus, the title track, Psycho Love, In a Darkened Room, Wasted Time. There's a lot of really good songs on here. So, yep, now I have all the classic Skid Row albums. I have Subhuman Race and the best of Skid Row here. I, at home, I have the first album and then the uh, Besides Ourselves EP. So I have all the stuff with Sebastian Bach that's officially released on CD, on vinyl. I have to get Slave to the Grind and Subhuman Race and Besides Ourselves and whatever bootlegs I can find. So there you go. Um, next up, I did get four CDs from the Smithereens, which are one of my favorite bands. Um, I got three of the albums and then a compilation. So first up, I got their, well, let's switch that out. Um, this is an EP and this was only $1.99. So there you go. And it is Beauty and Sadness. This was their first uh ep which um came out in uh 88 it says 88 but i think that's just this release yeah okay but this one has the title track it has two different versions um and then three other songs but yeah this was before their first album it says 19 recorded and originally mixed 1983 so yeah there you go this is on vinyl uh, it's not that hard to find on vinyl, but, um, you know, no, my bad. This is their second EP. Their first EP is called, I think, Girls About Town. Um, and that's pretty hard to find. That was only released on vinyl, but luckily it's got a CD release as well. So yeah, this is their second EP, my bad, you know, so much information up here. And then I got their first full length album, which is called Especially For You which this does have uh, a bonus track on the CD version, uh, White Castle Blues, which is an amazing song. But uh, Strangers When We Meet, Groovy Tuesday, Cigarette, Time and Time Again, Behind the Wall of Sleep, In a Lonely Place, Blood and Roses, 
Uh, a lot of great stuff on here. Their first full length. I had this on vinyl. Now I have it on CD. And when I walked in, I found these two, which were new, because I looked at the new stuff first. And then I walked over to the used section and found these and was pretty happy about that. But um, this one, again, this you could see the price tag. It was $16.99. But again, you know, I wherever I go, I don't really find many Smithereen CDs. Um, you know, they are one of my favorite bands. I think they're the best rock band from New Jersey. Sorry, Bon Jovi. But, um, you know, when I see them, I pick them up because, again, they're one of my favorites, and I can't find their stuff very frequently. So this is their last album. This is uh, called 2011. Um, they are done an album, and I don't know it was. I don't know when it's coming out. I think it was already supposed to, but it got pushed back for some reason. But this is their last album. With uh, they added uh, Severa Jornicone on bass because Mike Mazzaro's retired. But pretty much everyone except you know Mike is on here. But this is a really good album. Um, I did see them on this tour on the 2011 tour, and um, definitely want to see them again. But a lot of good songs on here. Uh, Sorry, I think, is the best song from here. Um, Keep On Running is good. A World of Our Own, As Long As You Are Near Me. Uh, Bring Back the One I Love. Uh, Venonese Hangover, I think I said that right. What went wrong? A lot of really good stuff on here. Really enjoyed this one. Because uh, the Smithereens, you know, their last real album was like 99. And then they took a break for a couple years. They did... A Christmas album, they did two Beatles tribute albums, and then they did a Hugh tribute album, and then finally they did a, a original album. And I think it was kind of smart how they did it. It was different. I mean, they've always been kind of a different band, and it was really cool, you know, how they did that. But the Smithereens kick ass. And then I got uh, a compilation. It's called Blown to Smithereens, Best of the Smithereens. And this one, I made a copy of this years ago probably over 10 years ago now and this was my introduction to the band i remember downloading every song and just listening to that cd non-stop but this has all their biggest hits on here uh beauty and sadness strangers when we meet blood and roses uh in a lonely place behind the wall of sleep only a memory house we used to live in drown in my own tears a girl like you blue period blues before and after yesterday girl top of the pops too Much Passion, Miles From Nowhere, and Time Won't Let Me, which was, of course, from Time Cop. But love the band. Love the love the boys. And last but certainly not least, Spinal Tap, Break Like the Wind. This is from uh, 1992. This was their, I think, their second album. But, yeah, Spinal Tap kicks ass. This one has songs. The, uh, the title track, Bitch School, The Majesty of Rock. Uh, Diva, Diva Fever, Just Begin Again, Cash on Delivery, The Sun Never Sweats, Rainy Day Sun, uh, Stinking Up the Great Outdoors, Springtime, uh, Clam Caravan, Christmas with the Devil, and All the Way Home. I mean, can't go wrong with Spinal Tap, you know. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, you know, I wanted to do this video earlier. It's just about midnight here. I gotta get some sleep, um, after I take a shower, of course, but. You know, I wanted to do this earlier, but my buddy wanted to go out to the movies. I said, sure. Uh, we saw Justice League, which I surprisingly enjoyed. Um, wasn't fantastic, but it was fun. You know, I did like it. And, uh, you know, of course, finishing up my slushy. You know, there you go. And, uh, yeah, I got I to gotta get moving here because it's almost midnight. I got to take a quick shower and, and get a little bit of sleep. Uh, tomorrow is probably going to be a long day, but you know how that goes. But wanted to do this collection update for you guys. Um, stay tuned because tomorrow I should have uh, tomorrow. I might not have time because I got work and then some other stuff I got to do tomorrow. Um, doing a video, but not one of my videos. Um, but Wednesday, I will definitely get some videos up because Wednesday is our last day of work this week because of Thanksgiving. We should be getting off super early, so hopefully around lunchtime, and then I'll have the rest of the, the week to uh, to do videos and stuff. But I will do the video about ACDC that I mentioned, and I will also now do a review of Justice League since I saw that 
and we'll go from there. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.